The beginning of the steel construction work marks the start of another construction phase in the construction of the Rhine Bridge Hard Fussage. As part of the preliminary work, a pre-assembly site was already filled on the Fussage side. At the end of October 2020, several auxiliary supports will be erected. The first prefabricated steel components of the bridge structure will be delivered to the construction site at the beginning of November 2020. The individual steel components are prefabricated in the Czech Republic, Hungary and Austria and then transported to the construction site. The philosophy is to manufacture the largest possible components in the factory, which reduces the need for 66 special transports. The largest individual parts weigh up to 90 tons. The supporting structure of the new Rhine bridge is a steel concrete composite construction, consisting of two trapezoidal steel box girders and the reinforced concrete carriageway slab, which will be produced at a later date. The steel sections are set up on the west side of the Rhine. Then the individual steel sections are joined together by welding. This is mainly done by manual gas shielded welding. The longitudinal seams on the top face are produced automatically by submerged arc welding. The operational strength and service life of the dynamically loaded steel structure is determined in particular by the weld seam transitions. Therefore, the weld joints require special joint preparation. In addition, the service life of the steel structure can be considerably increased by a targeted post-treatment of the transitions by grinding. After the post-treatment of the welds, the weld transitions are treated by sandblasting and then several layers of coating are applied. In order to be able to carry out the welding and coating work protected from wind and weather, a temporary workshop had to be erected on construction site. After the fussage abutment and the upstream piers have been erected, the prerequisite for the start of the insertion of the superstructure cross-section is given. The first insertion cycle will start at the beginning of February 2021. Shifting will be carried out by means of four hydraulic presses, which together will apply a thrust force of 240 tons. Shifting will be carried out in the period from February 2021 to October 2021 and is divided into 10 attachment phases and 10 shifting phases with different shifting lengths. The steel structure is being built using the so-called incremental launching method. In this process, the construction of the coherent bridge superstructure takes place section by section behind the abutment in a production facility. After the completion of a bridge section, it is pushed together with the previously constructed sections over the already constructed substructure in order to be able to construct the next section. In the subsequent phases, this cycle is repeated until the opposite abutment is reached. Before the steel structures can be pushed further over the already completed auxiliary piers in the discharge cross-section of the Rhine, complex bracing by means of an auxiliary span is necessary for structural reasons. This complex bracing construction with auxiliary bracing will be installed at the beginning of April 2021. 
the steel towers of the auxiliary bracing, two 21.5 meters high sliding supports with a weight of 18 tons each, are completely assembled on the ground and lifted in their entirety by means of a crane and bolted to the supporting structure. Then the ropes, consisting of 15 strands, are assembled on the ground to form a strand bundle and bolted to the steel tower and the supporting structure in the slack state using the crane. Then the cables are pretensioned to 120 tons tensile force according to the static specifications and the temporary auxiliary bracing is removed in the longitudinal direction. The deformation of the bridge during the tensioning process is closely observed and recorded by a structural engineer. The bridge has to withstand enormous forces later on. For this reason, the steel construction is checked for dimensional accuracy and material quality during production. The weld seams must be able to meet the specified requirements over the expected service life. To this end, the welded joints in particular must meet high quality criteria or quality characteristics. Even small welding defects would lead to a catastrophe. For this reason, every weld seam is examined in detail by means of ultrasound to ensure that it meets the required quality. The production of the coating is also subject to comprehensive quality control. The coater must have an approval and may only use coating materials with a tested approval, which meet the requirements of the high quality guidelines. In mid-June 2021, the two steel caissons will be pushed across the middle channel of the Rhine for the first time. The production of steel components using the incremental launching method is a highly complex process. The stresses in the structure change continuously during advancement. In addition, external influences such as solar radiation and the associated temperature changes, wind and possible settlements of the piers and auxiliary piers must be continuously monitored. Basically, every construction project is a prototype for which no series production is possible. In addition, the general conditions such as weather and building ground are not predictable. Due to these special characteristics and the complexity and size of the individual projects, there are several challenges that can only be mastered by specialists. However, the steel construction work has not yet been completed with the completion of the insertion work. In a further construction phase, the finalization of the bridge superstructure, further steel construction work will be necessary in 2022 after the completion of the concrete deck slab with the stiffening of the supporting structure form of a harp-shaped span.